lovely paint pouring friends i'm tilly douglas and i'm today i'm going to do number three in the mini canvas series with just pouring uh mixing paint and water no pouring mediums at all so i'm doing this little series with these little canvases and just paint and water just so we make it nice and easy for people that haven't got all the big um, canvases or space to do big canvases or all different types of pouring mediums just keeping it very very simple so you don't need a lot of equipment for this so all I've done is I've got my little canvas five by seven inch taped the back to keep it nice and clean and put my little push pins in just to keep it off the surface so it makes it easier to handle and I've leveled it all up. Use my little spirit level. It's very important to make sure you get these level. You don't want them tilted at all, otherwise your paint's just gonna run off. And it will just, if, if it doesn't all pour off, it could move it. And if it was just slightly lifted to one side, it would move the paint and you'd spoil your nice design that you get. So that's why we level it all up. Now the paints I'm using today for this one, number three i'm using um for my to cover my canvas i'm using a white and there is my white nice and runny so it just runs off the stick doesn't leave a mound in the paint just runs off and is nice and thin and that paint i've been using all amsterdam paints for these but i'm just testing this one out to see if this is going to work just as well. And this is my Montmartre paint. Uh, I love these paints. I've got lots of different colours of these. So I'm really hoping that this does work as well using the just, just with mixing it with just water. Because I haven't tested this one with just water yet. So it'll be interesting to find out. It is a good quality one, even though it's not one that breaks the bank. It is a good quality one and it's nice um, it's got really good pigment in it um, so we'll see how that one goes today now my colors I'm using the colors are all Amsterdam and I'm using Naples yellow red greenish yellow and ultramarine violet which I need to get some more of I've actually ordered some today because I'm getting very low on that one. Um, and they are just the same consistency as the white. So nice, oops, sorry, off camera there, sorry. Nice and runny, just flows off the stick and doesn't leave a puddle. If you want to make sure all your paints are mixed about the same, as, as, as the same as you could possibly get them just so they all dry the same you don't get any cracking so what we're going to do is flood our canvas first of all with our white I don't like using the stick I like to use my fingers really just put a bit more on there. Make sure all the edges are nicely covered and all those little corner seams. Always touch up the edges later if you feel they need a bit more over those edges. Not too bothered about getting this all smooth at the moment because I'm going to be blowing it around anyway. So I just want to make sure the edges are covered. I'll put a little bit more on there. Now 
nicely covered. So I'll just wipe my hands. Nobody ever said that paint pouring was anything but messy. There, get all that off. Now, I'm just going to give that a quick torch. Get as many of those bubbles out as we can. Got a little, what that is there. That's something in there. So we'll see how this Montmartre paint holds up with this paint and water mixture. So this is our Naples Yellow Red. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on first. This is an opaque. So I do like to have an opaque colour down first. And then our ultramarine violet. And then our greenish yellow. So this is, these colors are a lot lighter than the first two paintings that I did in this series. So we'll see how it goes. Give it a torch. And then I'm going to put some of the white paint around the edge. Let's just give that a quick torch as well. I can see some, some bubbles in there. We want to get as many, rid of as many as we can. Now I'm going to get my little blower. I don't use my big hairdryer for this because it's such a small canvas. I just use my little mini blower. And blow that white paint over the top. There. Have a quick torch. Be interesting to see if this sells up as well as the others have with using the Montmartre. So now I'm going to blow that paint back across. You can see some cells actually, there are some cells coming up. The Amsterdam paint is good for giving cells, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, look at that. That looks pretty. Some lacing going on there. Woo! There. Wow. There's some reactions that I didn't expect to be getting. That looks really rather nice. See what happens when we torch it. Wow, that is looking pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my little turkey baster, the same as what I've done with the other two. And I'm going to blow these edges out. That has really surprised me, that has. So that must be that Montmartre paint, how that's reacting with that. So I'll definitely be using that again with this, this style. So I'm going to blow these little edges out. Oh, more coming up. Look at it. It just pops straight up. Wow. I'm really impressed. Ooh. I don't know if I want to do too much more with that. Wow. That 
that's reacting really well. I did not expect that. So if I blow down to this centre bit, let's see, see if it reacts. Oh, I don't think there's a lot of white. Oh, it is, it's popping up. Wow. That is quite mesmerising watching that. Well, they, that, this one is completely different to the other two that I've done. Completely different. So if you haven't seen the other two, do go and have a look. And I will um, keep doing these little minis. And see what sort of reactions we get with different paints. <laughs> I'm really rather surprised at that. That's like lots of little clouds. It looks really, really pretty. So I can just see I need to just touch up these edges a little bit here. So I'll just go in with a bit of the white just to touch the edges up a bit. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe. And click the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out more videos. And please like and comment and all that good stuff that helps us little YouTubers. So all the paints and equipment and bits and pieces that I use for these paintings, I have in my... Um, Amazon storefront. It's just a recommendation shop. I don't sell them myself. It's just the stuff that I recommend. So I'll put the um, the link for that of the Amazon shop for that in the description below. And I'd really appreciate if you went and used that link because it's an affiliate link, which means I get a little bit of commission if you click through. It doesn't cost you anything, but it does help. It helps me keep being able to do these videos and buy paints and all that sort of good stuff so that's the edges I don't think I'm going to do much more to that because I think that's looking really rather lovely so on my um, blog I've got a beginner's guide to paint pouring which gives loads of information on how you can do various techniques and how you can make pouring mediums and well lots and lots of information on things you can do things you need to to get and all that sort of stuff and the color inspiration charts which you are just free you can just go and allow, download them they're just it's free it's just um some to give you some idea of colors that might work together which i hope will be helpful for you right i'm going to bring you down for a close-up because I don't think you can quite see from up there how beautiful that is looking. So I'll bring it down for the close-up. So, close-up. Look at that. I'm amazed. I am really amazed how that just popped all that up like that. Oh, I can't wait to give it another test now. <laughs> See, all that will all flatten out. This, try not to get my finger in it here. Just use my paint covered fingers. See, all here where that's that will all flatten out. So, that is just paint and water, nothing else in it at all. Just need to touch these. Ooh, where are we there? Just need to touch that edge up a wee bit more. No pouring medium. No silicone oil. And look at the effects you get. And that, so that's Amsterdam paint and the white is that uh, Montmartre. I, I do love that Montmartre paint, but I must admit I didn't expect this reaction with it. So you'll find that in my um, Amazon link below um, where I get that from. I, could, I do get that off Amazon. So I'll leave the link for that and I'll, that'll be in my 
um, recommendations list as well. But doesn't it look gorgeous? So that's number three. So please subscribe and click the little bell notification and keep watching for number four in this series. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.